hello guys welcome back to another video uh, today I'm gonna showing you uh, how to communicate ESP8266 with the uh, RS485 uh, Modbus protocol uh, to Modbus pool software on the PC so let's have a look to the controller side what is going on uh, I have a switch <coughs> and I have three LEDs and an analog input so I'm gonna show you how this thing communicate with the <coughs> Modbus uh, pool software so let's get to the software side so this is Modbus pool software and uh, as you are looking to the address 0 1 2 that's all are uh, 1 and that's represent the LEDs here in the uh, circuit uh, what I do is if I put 0 to the address 0 let me do that and send it here it will turn on turn off the LED the red one LED just got turned off let me turn off the green LED so I am putting 0 to the address 1 and let me send here it goes and let me turn off <coughs> the second uh, th sorry the third LED and uh, let me send there it is so and here you are looking all the zero let me now push the button and let's see what's going on on the terminal so here it is I am pushing the button it gave me the one I am releasing the button it gave me the zero and it's working and let me show you how this uh, analog port works and let's see what are the changing values so this when I goes 224 or 1024 and zero it's giving five six so analog is also working and the on the 76 you're looking at the address 5 it's just a dummy address let me show you the coding part of it <coughs> so I use uh, Modbus you know a library and I have uh, defined four uh, three pins for the LEDs and I defined a 16-bit integer <coughs> uh, array Modbus array and these are the values which uh, first 5 are 0 and then the 76 this is the dummy value and working as it's showing here it's 76 so just for demonstration purpose and let's scroll down the code a little bit so what I does I have uh, defined this uh, bus mod bus and there is uh, 1 1 and 16 16 is just showing the uh, a read and write pin of uh, this module to this uh, ESP8266 as I have connected it to B0 which is uh, uh, 16 uh, GPIO and one is showing the slave address and one is showing that it is working on RS485 uh, not an RS232 uh, if I put 0 uh, here in the middle one uh, where is the mouse cursor so here it is if I put 0 here it will um, tell the uh, library that this thing is working on RS232 but now it's working on RS45 I put some one and uh, here's uh, bus.bcan 19200 it's a board read and here is the main culprit of how this library works more bus pool and it's just getting the size of array and then uh, giving all the values uh, as if we send it and receive from the uh, controller and here is then just if Modbus array 0 is 0 then digital right LED 5 to low and to high these all things are just easy and anybody can do that and here are the analog part so A0 here is just showing to the address for 4 sorry address 5 okay here it is on address 5 0 to 4 mean 5 so and Modbus array 3 address 3 is the switch button so this thing is working like a charm and uh, we are uh, we gonna communicate this controller to the PLC uh, here it is the Siemens 71200 and uh, show how to uh, communicate with this card and if it does work I will post a lengthy and uh, detailed video about it and so you guys have a look and if you have any queries so let me know in the comment below 
and please subscribe my channel for more uh, info and these kind of videos uh, thank you